In today's SFM tutorial, I want to be talking about the importance of rim lighting and using rim lighting to your advantage in your SFM posters. To keep things nice and simple, rim lighting is essentially a light that goes behind the model to give the model a slight outline. To explain the importance of rim lighting, I feel like the best way to do it is to just show you rim lighting in action. Take these extremely well made posters by extremely talented SFM artists. As you can see, rim lighting is used to such a degree to create a very nice effect on the main character in the main foreground. Alright, so now I'm recording this live in SFM. I'm going to be showing you my method on how to get very easy rim lighting for the, your models. So you don't have to mess around with the uh, rim lightings behind the model. You can do it with this really easy method. So simply enable your lighting. Make once you've got your scene all set up, create a new light. It can be any color. Uh, just make sure it has shadows turned on and it's not a volumetric. You want to place the light kind of in front of your model. You can you can tweak this later, but just make sure it's in front of your model and it's covering your whole model, right? You want to scroll down the settings until you find shadow depth bias. Right click that and click remap range. You'll be, you'll be brought to this menu here. Simply take out this value in the minimum section and instead type in minus 0.01. Once you do that, you should drag. You should be able to drag this bar all the way down, and as you can see, it will create this weird sort of lighting effect on the heavy. Simply, all you do then is turn this option on. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm not even going to try. If you turn that on, as you can see, the heavy now glows with this powerful aura. So go back to your camera, turn off the bloom, and then tweak the settings to how you like it. Obviously, intensity will change the intensity of the light of the rim light. Changing the shadow filter size will show how much light is actually being shown. Of course, the less there is, the more like thicker the rims are, the less the thinner. I tend to think you should go with something like this. And of course, you can mess around with how it looks like that. <clears throat> now, the way this actually works is it doesn't actually create a rim on the model itself. The way that the shadow depth bias setting works is it makes it so the shadows kind of extend out and extend in as well, leaving only a slit of light able to get through. And due to the way we've positioned it, it creates this sort of really nice looking rim effect on the model itself. And now with the power of editing, I now have some very basic three point lighting set up here for the heavy. And as you can see, this rim light it adds a really nice effect that complements the rest of this uh, the lighting especially with the key light if i was to turn this off as you can see the heavy would kind of would kind of blend into the background you know what i'm saying like especially around his legs and his feet you wouldn't really be able to see the heavy that well obviously with this rim light it really allows the heavy to pop out a bit and it really allows you to see the heavy a lot easier so now let's talk about how to use these rim lights in an effective manner these two posters that I made quite a while ago demonstrate the use of rim lights pretty well. As you can see in the scout poster, the scout has a lot of fire behind him. So I used rim lights to make sure that fire cast quite a bit of light onto the scout, making him pop from the background but also makes sense in the context of the environment. If there's one last piece of advice that I could give you when using this rim lighting, it's to try and avoid situations like, well, this. like. This doesn't even look good anymore, it just looks like a really weird light on the model. Hell, it even looks like a lighting glitch. So yeah, try and avoid that. And that's how you use rim lighting on SFM. I really hope this video did help you out in some sort of way. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you need some help with SFM, you know, general questions, tips on lighting and posing, or how to make your posters better, Hit me up on any of my social media, so Twitter, Discord, Steam, the comment section, everything will be linked down below. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out for now.